Over 50% of Americans on Medicare are enrolled into a Medicare Advantage plan in 2024. Sometimes that's a great thing, but sometimes it's not such a great thing if you're not enrolled into the right plan. In this video, I'm gonna give you four things to pay close attention to when selecting a Medicare Advantage plan to make sure that you get the best results possible and you don't end up like so many others that say Medicare Advantage was harmful for them. It can be avoided. We're gonna go over it now. My name is Christian Brindle. I'm a licensed insurance agent and Medicare health plan specialist. I'm also the owner and the founder of Christian Brindle Insurance Services, also known as Everything Senior Insurance. And today we're going to talk about Medicare Advantage. What are the four things you need to pay attention to to make sure that you're picking the best plan and ultimately to ensure that you get the best results possible? So let's jump into it. Number one, what you really need to pay attention to more than anything else, I would argue, when it comes to a Medicare Advantage plan is does the network type and does the specific provider network fit your needs and your preferences? Are your doctors covered? Are the hospitals you want to go to covered? Medicare Advantage plans are network-based plans. Oftentimes they're HMO products or PPO products, meaning that they have networks of providers and doctors, and they have providers and doctors that you can either see and ones that you cannot see, or they have providers that you can see at a lower cost share and other providers you can see at a higher cost share if you're going into network. You need to make sure that this plan that you're looking at covers your providers in the way that you want them to. So how can you best ensure that? Well, the best way you can ensure it is making sure that ultimately you're working with a good independent Medicare brokerage like ours, of course, no shameless plug. And having them check all of your providers to make sure that any plan you're looking at is going to cover them all. Also, having a big network is always encouraged opposed to having a small network. So let's say you see one doctor and you don't go to the doctor very often, but this one doctor is covered under a litany of plans. If all things are equal, if you can pick a plan that has a larger provider network that gives you more choices on where you can go to the doctor and where you can go to the hospital, that usually is setting yourself up for success. More options always trumps less. And I couldn't tell you how many times I've seen somebody that picked a Medicare Advantage plan without taking the network into account and they end up not being able to go to their providers that they want to see. They end up going out of network, being responsible for a large portion of the bill, if not the entire bill, and it leaves a bad taste in their mouth. But it doesn't have to be if they picked a plan that had the right network for them. Number two, make sure that all of the prescriptions and medications that you're taking are covered and covered as well as possible by the plan that you're selecting. Medicare plans in general, whether it be an individual prescription drug plan that pairs with a Medicare supplement product or a Medicare Advantage plan that has the drug coverage built in, have what's known as formularies. They all have the same kind of structure when it comes to the Medicare prescription drug coverage. They all have tiers, which essentially are categories that the prescriptions are placed into that determine your copay and your coinsurance. They all have things known as the donut hole and the coverage gap in 2024. But the most important thing that you can really look at when it comes to selecting a Medicare Advantage plan is does the plan's formulary best work with your specific prescriptions? Are they categorized in the lowest tier possible? What is your cost per year? And this is something that a Medicare brokerage can very easily find for you by just doing a quick search and a quick prescription drug comparison and isolating which plan is going to be the best for you. Also, do you take a prescription that might just not be covered at all on a certain plan? That is another reality that sometimes we see with certain Medicare Advantage plans and certain prescriptions is that they don't cover every single prescription and they don't cover every prescription well, it's important that you have a prescription drug comparison ran because if you take any number of medications, this can be an extremely costly mistake to not have checked ahead of time. Step three to choosing the best Medicare Advantage plan for you in 2024 is understanding what you actually need in your plan. Medicare Advantage plans are all in one plan, so they give you medical, Part D prescription drug coverage, dental, vision, and hearing in many cases all together in one plan. So if you have needs for dental, but maybe not as much prescription drug coverage, make sure that you're looking for that in a plan. Look at the plan's prescription drug coverage and see if it works for you, but maybe you don't take any prescriptions at all. Maybe you really need a bunch of crowns done. Maybe you need an implant done. Maybe you need a bridge put in. Maybe you just have a history of having 
bad teeth and having dental work done on a consistent basis, even if you don't have anything that's pressing at the moment and you know that's a need for you, make sure that you factor that in when you're looking at your plan because there's a, there's, there's a very large spectrum of coverage with all things that come to Advantage plans, whether it be networks, whether it be prescription coverage, whether it be dental vision and hearing coverage, these things can vary from plan to plan. So understand going into it, what your biggest needs are and make sure that you're picking a plan based on what fits those needs the best. Step four, make sure that you're picking a plan if possible that does not have a large maximum out of pocket. What do I mean by that? Well, on medical bills for Medicare Advantage plans, they typically come in the form of copays. It's not very common that you see a Medicare Advantage plan that has deductibles or anything like that that you're responsible for before the plan pays, but they do have copays. $5 maybe for a primary care doctor, zero maybe for a primary care doctor, 10, 20, $30 for a specialist, two, three, $400 for a night in the hospital, these types of items. 90, 100, $120 for emergency room visit. But you also have a maximum out of pocket limit on an Advantage plan that essentially is your stop loss. It's the most that you can be responsible for in a calendar year in medical costs on that Medicare Advantage plan. So if there's a Medicare Advantage plan in your market that let's say for hypothetically speaking sake, has a $5,000 maximum out of pocket per year, and there's another plan that has a $7,000 annual maximum out of pocket per year. The one that's five is going to be more in your favor than the one that's seven. Now, if you're just having a couple doctor visits, maybe you have one hospital stay a year, you don't have a ton of visits and a ton of things going on. Chances are no, ma no matter what your maximum out of pocket is, you're not going to hit it the way Medicare Advantage plans are structured. But if something takes a turn for the worse, let's say you get cancer and you need chemotherapy and radiation, maybe you get put on kidney dialysis, these items in a majority of Medicare Advantage plans are covered at 20% coinsurance. The plan pays 80% and you're responsible for 20% up to the plan's medical maximum out of pocket. And in this situation, regardless of what your maximum out of pocket is, there's a very strong likelihood that in a matter of months, you'll hit that max out of pocket. And picking a lower max out of pocket is vital to making sure that you're not on the hook for thousands more than you need to be on a Medicare Advantage plan. Once you made it all the way to the end of the video, I will give you a fifth step and a bonus just to thank you for watching all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate your support and watching so much and in being interested in these videos. I hope they're helping you a lot. The fifth bonus step that we're gonna provide for you today is pay attention to how your plan does in travel. All Medicare Advantage plans have essentially the same travel. They'll cover emergency room visits, emergency situations abroad, out of the country, and usually what they'll do is they'll reimburse you for that cost. So usually they won't pay a foreign provider. Usually you have to pay up front and then you can apply for reimbursement. But what about around the country? What about inside of the United States but outside of your service area, outside of your state that you live in? Maybe you live in Texas and you're going on vacation to Florida. How does that plan cover you while you're traveling? Some Medicare Advantage plans give you coverage in and out of network, but most of the time, the cost is greater if you go out of network. There are several very viable Medicare Advantage options in many states and many markets that will give you an all 50 state national provider network. And that is such a cool thing to have on your plan if everything else that we talked about fits and works for you. Because if you're going on a trip or you travel a lot, it's nice to know that any market and any state that you're going to visit, you have in-network providers that you can use for anything that your plan covers. It could be dentist, it could be doctors, it could be medical. Now, this is more of a luxury. I wouldn't call it a necessity. I think the first four things we talked about on this list are more important, but if you can get this last final fifth bonus step in your favor, that helps a lot. If you need help finding a plan that has all these characteristics for you, if you're looking at a Medicare Advantage plan, my office is licensed in over 40 states. We can help you today. Our office number is 801-255-5340. Again, 801-255-5340. Give us a call today for a no cost, no obligation consultation. We are an independent brokerage, meaning that we represent a multitude of different insurance companies, whether it be Medicare Advantage or whether it be Medicare Supplement. And we're very good at sorting through the options from an unbiased perspective to help you find the best fit based on your specific needs and preferences. We'd love to be able to speak with you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, educational, if it answered your questions that you went into the video having, 
I would certainly appreciate it if you'd smash the like button on this video. It helps more people like you find the content who need to hear this information and who are confused and struggling with these kind of problems. Make sure to comment down below. Did you learn something from this? Are there additional questions that we can answer in future videos? Make sure to subscribe for future Medicare content. Nobody does it better. And thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Happy Medicare and everybody.